Hi, I'm Amit Singh. I'm a technical marketing engineer in Cisco. Uh, and I'll be talking about advanced VPLS solution to extend your uh, data centers and basically have flexibility to move your VMs across from one data center to the other. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you uh, what the network looks like and how do you actually go ahead and do this. So here, as you can see out here um, on the screen, I have a network out here with three data centers built, data center one, data center two, and data center three. Uh, they're all com comprise, the core comprises of Catalyst 6500 based VSS solution, uh, which is running Cisco's new innovation, which is called Advanced VPLS. Uh, it is used to extend your layer two domains across seamlessly between data centers, but at the same time ensure that span entry is isolated within the data center and you have true redundancy, resiliency, and packet load balancing uh, which is not yet available in such efficiency, um, but we do bring that with the advanced VPLS solution that Cisco comes out with. So, what I have out here is uh, in the two data centers, data center one and data center two, I have two ESX servers sitting out there running uh, virtual machines, uh, and what I'll show you in the demo is actually, I'll move the VMs across from data center one to data center two, and um, you will be able to see that I, I am able to seamlessly move across VMs and still uh, do a live migration of VMs across data centers and still have connectivity to all the VMs. And um, so let's move on to the uh, de demo setup. And um, what I'll show you is that, um, as you can see, I have two ESX servers, uh, 220 and 230, as shown out here. The VM is running in data center 2, uh, as shown out here, uh, which is basically a Windows 2003 server machine, the IP address of that machine is uh, 10.101.52.13. Um, and what I also have is actually, I have a remote desktop directly into this VM. And I'll log in, I'm logging into the VM. And what I'm doing on the VM is actually, I'm taking a video file, which is basically a John Chambers video file talking about Cisco and streaming it from this VM. And on the client side, what I'll do is I'll start receiving this uh, video stream and actually uh, watch the video locally on this physical machine out here. Now, the data center resides in uh, in San Jose, California, and we are today out here in Boston, in this beautiful city out here uh, for EMC World 2010. Um, and what I'll do is, uh, once the video starts playing, what I'll do is actually move this VM across from data center 2 to data center 1 and show you that the video still continues to play and we still have the RDP. So as you see, the video starts playing. Now what I'll do is I'll actually move the VM across from data center 2 to data center 1 in the uh, ESX server 220. Uh, this is just a brief vMotion uh, uh, screen, a wizard screen that you get. So I have reserving CPU for performance and I started moving the VM across. So as you can see, um, the status is increasing and the VM is moving across data centers into the remote data center 1. Um, and as you can see, the VM is now moved from 230 to 220 and you still see the John Chambers video stream file con continuously playing. And at the same time, I still have the RDP session uh, active and running to the same VM. So as you can see, I'm able to move VM seamlessly across, still maintain connectivity, and still have IP connectivity to the remote data center. Um, so thanks for watching, and this was uh, about the advanced VPLS solution for workload mobility from Cisco. Thanks.